Hello, I'm Alavir Nick and you're joining me for my first update of 2020. It's only a few days into the new year. And why is that important? It's important because if you saw the last one, you'll see that I came off Alavir for the Christmas and New Year period. It's something I was really, really worried about. Why? Because I've been on aloe vera a few times before and each time within a month because I don't control things properly and I don't maintain properly, I pile the weight back on and then before I know it, I'm, I'm going back to aloe vera looking to lose another, another couple of stone. This time, however, I managed to keep control. So how did I do it? Well, since I've last spoken to you, I've had a ski trip and on that ski trip, I employed the simple rule of low on carbs, high on protein and I replaced roughly a meal a day and it wasn't an exact science with either an aloe vera shake or with one of those aloe vera bars and that worked really well so if I felt hungry I knew I could have an aloe vera bar and it would sort me out um, and then going into Christmas yes I enjoyed Christmas. I had a drink. I avoided beer because beer makes me put on weight like you wouldn't believe. I, avoid, I avoided heaps of French bread, things like that, but I did everything. I went to all the Christmas parties. I ate the volivons and the little nibbles with the drinks. I had a few crisps. I just didn't go crazy. And yes, when I look at my weight over that time, which I'm going to show you, it did go up, but I pulled things back in check. Check this out. So here we go. Here's the first graph that shows you on the 18th of December, I was 13 stone 7.6 pounds. That is when I stopped. And you can see almost immediately that my weight jumped and continued to climb steadily. Now, you're gonna expect that when you immediately come off aloe vera because your body's gonna start retaining more fluid as soon as you introduce more carbohydrates into your diet, however much you're limiting them. But now look at this. At my worst, on the 1st of January, after a particularly good night out, I will add. Yes, I went up to a considerable weight, but look at the graph again. You can see that there weren't really any check weights before then. I was in a healthy weight range right up until that. So, so that was alcohol making me retain fluid. I understand that now. I've been on this journey enough times to realize, but check it out. 7th of January, just six days later, I actually weigh less than when I came off the plan three weeks ago. I am delighted. And all it took in those three weeks was just a little bit of kind of awareness of what was going in, but not holding back because it was Christmas and I was on holiday, of course. And well, within three days back on stage one, all that damage was recovered. So this is a really interesting experiment for me. Maybe this means that if I really do lose track of things, once a month I might have to do up to a week of aloe vera. Maybe that will be my maintenance program. I'm hoping I will not have to be that extreme and peak and trough and peak and trough and peak and trough with my, with my weight gain. But, uh, but who knows, if all else fails, I know that for, for three weeks of, of really good living, much better living than I'd have any other time of the year with all the parties and, the, and of course Christmas meals and stuff, if that just means three days of raining it back and I can recover those losses or gains, then that's not a bad deal. So here we are, 13 stones, 7.4 pounds. I'm back on aloe vera. I've been on it for four days. I have my treatment, my first treatment of the year today. So my next update will be next week, next Tuesday to be precise. And on that day, we will find out just how much weight I'm losing as I continue my journey in what should be now the last month before I hit that peak BMI. But if you're holding back on joining aloe vera because you've got a big holiday plan, because you've got Christmas coming up, whatever it is, don't let that be your excuse. I am living proof that in three days, as long as you're not too crazy, you could have three weeks of pretty good fun and still pull back and maintain that weight loss. So there you go. See you next week.